What's up, y'all? It's Tim Leek. Welcome back to the channel. And as many of you know, the state of the real estate market is kind of crazy right now. A couple years ago, interest rates, they dropped so low, it made the prices of houses skyrocket because it was just so much competition out there. Everybody wanted to get on in the good, historically low interest rates that were 2 and 3%. So the prices of homes shot up like crazy. And then interest rates end up shooting up like crazy they doubled and tripled and guess what the prices of houses they never started to come back down they were kind of like just kind of just staying stagnant they didn't shoot down at the same rate that they shot up when interest rates dropped so and now interest rates have come back down a bit so we'll see what happens but if i know if they shoot down like crazy if they did drop to like five four percent something like that then the prices of homes will shoot up again because everyone will flood the market. Oh, let me get on these interest rates. So they'll be thinking that they're like getting a good deal, but it'll just drive up more competition and more competition is going to actually raise the home prices. But anyway, along with home prices over the past few years going up, rent prices have gone up as well. The cost to pay rent a lot of times be about the same or even higher than the cost of paying a mortgage. So it's, it's really crazy right now. But with this unpredictable real estate market and the cost of everything going up over the past few years, scammers are out here scamming. Scammers are getting creative. Scammers are gonna scam. That's one thing they're gonna do. They're gonna think of creative ways to scam people. And who better to scam than the most vulnerable people in the country low income people who are desperate so for the latest scam is a section a scam and it's actually a scam that's connected with facebook and it was reported a couple of months ago facebook they know about it now but they'll take the page down but another page will pop back up and their, their website is actually still up so these scammers will make a fake facebook page and they'll say that the housing authority is open right now the wait list is open you can sign up and get on the wait list or you can sign up and get your voucher but they'll say if you want special treatment you can pay um you can pay to get on the wait list or pay to to, to get your voucher and these are people who've been waiting for a voucher for years a lot of these wait lists have been closed for two three five years sometimes even more so these people are desperate they already low income and they are desperate and they're thinking like it's a sign from god yes this is a blessing i can actually pay my way and to getting a voucher. No, it doesn't work like that. HUD, they're not gonna require you to pay to get a voucher. HUD already came out with a statement telling people to beware of this scam. They're not gonna charge you to get a voucher. And this is just not a local scam. This is, this is happening to a lot of housing agencies across the country. A lot of different major cities, small cities, it doesn't matter. A lot of housing authorities are putting out statements saying, don't believe these fake Facebook pages, don't believe these fake websites, because if you go on a Facebook page, it'll be a link that'll take you to another website. They'll take your information, they can steal, they ask for your personal information, They'll steal your personal information. They can steal your bank account information or just have you send them payments. And some of the voucher holders, they are smart. They're, they're doing their due diligence. They're like, hold up, this seems like it's too good to be true. So they'll contact the housing authorities and it's been hundreds of them contacting the housing authorities and the housing authorities be like, nah, that's a scam. Don't fall for it. But there are some people out there who aren't calling. They're not doing their due diligence and they are getting scammed. So. That's something that you have to look out for if you're a voucher holder. If it seems too good to be true, nine times out of 10, it's too good to be true. And always do your due diligence, especially when it involves you paying somebody. If it involves you paying someone else for something, do your due diligence. It sucks already to be low income and then someone's trying to take <laughs> the little income that you do have. You don't want to fall victim to this scam. You don't want to be a victim of identity theft. It's just so many things that they can scam you out of if they get your social security number and your name and come on now. So that's just to give you guys a heads up. Uh, like I said, this was reported a few months ago. The website is actually still up um, and Facebook, they know about it. They could take the page down, but guess what? They could just throw another page up. So that's just something for the voucher holders to be aware of. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, nine times out of 10, it is. Make sure you do your due diligence.